What's up, YouTube? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network, where all men and boys are welcome and our issues are treated with the respect that they deserve, where excellence is our goal and our enemies are called out by their names. A place to remind you that you are loved, that you have intrinsic value, and to suggest that you do yourself no harm. Today I want to discuss with you guys a few of my thoughts, not the least of which weigh on my mind a lot. I overheard two girls talking today, They're probably in their early 20s. Decently attractive, although they could stand to lose a few pounds. They were complaining that the guys they're dealing with just won't keep it real. That got me thinking. The modern Western woman is always trying to say that she wants men to keep it real with them. Any man who's ever actually had the misfortune of dealing with the typical Western woman knows the hazards that come with doing so. You tell them the truth, the easily provable truth, and their feelings get in the way. And you might find yourself in the place where you're apologizing for how what you said that you can easily prove with a simple Google search made them feel. So today's going to mark the first episode of what may end up being a series on how real do they keep it. Let's start with the top, work our way down, shall we? Let's talk about hair weaves, wigs, hair extensions, hair dye. Multi-billion dollar industries that peddle in deception. That they gladly use on a moment's notice for several hundreds of dollars a piece. How many of you guys knew that the hair weave, wig, and hair extension industry is a $6.63 billion a year industry. And the hair color industry is worth $21.4 billion every single year. So we're talking nearly $30 billion. To put that in perspective, gentlemen, Google bought YouTube for $1.65 billion. International fast food chain Burger King made $1.81 billion last year. This is a staggering deficit. So ask yourselves, why would women spend so much money to pretend that their hair is long and luxurious? to pretend they aren't graying out, inching ever so closely to the wall. Let me stop there for a moment. For those of you unfamiliar with that particular term, because you may be new to such RP content, the wall is the inevitable place in every woman's life where her ability to trade how good she looks for special favors and special privileges begins to fade away. Now, it doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen relatively quickly. Although a woman's race to the wall can be accelerated if she lives a very strong party girl life, if she's a heavy drinker, smoker, if she doesn't eat well, she doesn't get enough rest, doesn't drink enough water. But... On the flip side, on the inverse, a woman can hold off the wall for as long as possible by being diligent with her workout schedule, by being faithful to a steady, sound diet, not consuming alcoholic beverages or hard drugs, getting her rest and keeping her stress level down. 
This is why you'll see some women past age 35 who look like life has been very difficult for them. And other women just over 40 who still look pretty good for their ages. But back to the point at hand. Why do they spend so much money to pretend that their hair is long and luxurious? To pretend it's not graying out at the roots? Well, it's simple, really. It's adaptive biology. Some might call it evolutionary biology. Long flowing hair has been an attraction trigger for men from the earliest days of our species. It's a sign of youth and fertility. To see a woman whose hair is graying evolutionarily from an adaptive standpoint is telling you at the DNA level, do not waste your semen on this woman. It's a strong likelihood she cannot bear your children to a healthy birth weight or even the full term at all. This is why youth has always been a valued trait within women for men. Because at the core, we are animals, even though we're at the top of the food chain. And animals understand how instinct works. And as such, they need to reproduce to keep from going extinct. We're no different. So what happens? Women cut their hair off more often than not to try to match some trend or some movie star that they like or some television personality or radio personality that they like. Get the chop off. Now they got a haircut like a man almost. And they realize, oh crap, what have I done? So they go and buy a wig. Or they get someone else's hair weaved in on top of their own heads. Or... Their hair is decently long, but it's not long enough in their perspective. So they extend it out. It's insane. And then for the women who actually have decent amounts of hair, because of stress, because of other life factors, perhaps genetics, maybe it's thinning, perhaps, they'll buy enough hair dye to pretend they aren't going gray to dwarf some of the world's largest corporations. What's the takeaway here, fellas? Well, it's real simple. It's difficult to stand on an air of superiority when you're clamoring for men to keep it real. And in the case of the two young ladies I spoke of earlier, you both have braids that go down to the middle of your butt crack. Braids that cost several hundreds of dollars that probably took eight to 10 hours to install. And now, for the sake of your vanity here in America, for the sake of your conceit, and yes, for the sake of your deception, all the way here in the United States, some young lady is now walking around with a buzz cut in Malaysia or Brazil. But they probably paid her 10 cents or slightly more for that hair there where she lives. Meanwhile, you buy it by the pack for $40, $50. It's incredible what vanity will make us do. It's incredible how blind to their own hypocrisy that they are. Not on mind a young lady doing her hair, making it look nice. That's fine. We should all step out the front door with our best foot forward. In fact, gentlemen, I recommend you do the same. I recommend that you stay on top of your grooming. I recommend that you stay on top of your facial hairs manicuring. I, I recommend that you wash your hands properly, clean your nails. Set the stage for how folks treat you, for better or for worse. But we don't get the benefit Except for those guys who use to pay, I suppose, and those guys who's just for men. God bless them. But for the most part, your average guy who doesn't want to take the time to purchase one, a hair piece, we don't really have the option to absolutely pretend that our hair is something entirely different from what is actually growing out of our scalps. Keep it real? Cool. But first, show us how it's done. 
We'll follow your lead on this one, ladies. How many of you, especially, and I'm speaking as a black man here in the United States, how many of you are prepared to grow out your chemical relaxer? Hmm? How many of you are willing to wear your natural hair curly and or kinky, though it may be? I mean, the debate will go on probably forever between natural, chemically processed and hair weaving and wigs, especially in our community. Now, for you fellas in different communities, I don't really know what to say there. But a lot of you who've encountered black women have seen this for yourself. I've had plenty of my white friends tell me they can't tell the difference between a, a black woman with weave in her hair and a black woman who doesn't. I get it. And that's kind of the point. There's a deception at play here. And the sad thing is, the sad thing, gentlemen, is the entire exercise in hair weaving, hair extensions, wigs, and hair color is all a grand exercise in cheating at the sexual marketplace. For women who don't have what it takes to position themselves higher than what they ought to be if they themselves were keeping it real. <laughs> Funny, huh? How they love to ask for something they have no intention of providing. But it's simply their nature. And we'll get more into it as the days go by. But for right now, that's my time, gentlemen. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. And hey, leave a comment down below. In case something that I missed. And share this video with a friend or a family member. Someone you think could benefit from the information that we, that we share here. Never let your brethren suffer in silence when the truth will set them free. Until next time, fellas, this is the Saving Men's Lives Network. Plenty more to come.